can you pass this excel test i have got five questions for you we are going to try to solve them one by one i have attached the empty sheet in the description try it out yourselves and then check out the solutions if you can crack four out of five questions you can claim yourself as pretty good at excel if you get all five you are really good at excel let's get started first question is very simple so we have given a data like this like country data with some clicks information and we need to fill the result column which is here if clicks greater than 350 we call it good otherwise we call it bad okay so it's a simple if statement so you can say if this value is greater than 350 then it's good otherwise you call it bad okay simple question so 300 is bad 400 and 600 are good okay simple if condition to get started very easy question you should have cracked this next question conditional formatting conditional format rows where clicks is greater than 0.1 times the impressions so if you have impressions as 230 clicks should be ideally greater than 23 right so we want to implement this formula wherever clicks is greater than 0.1 times impressions we want to shade it red okay let's do this so keep your mouse here then go to home click on conditional formatting new rule okay and you i'll use a formula and the formula is nothing but click so basically this cell um, I can just call it greater than uh, 0.1 times this cell okay so and I can remove the dollar here right so I can basically say B dollar instead of B dollar I can say B7 and C7 so B7 should be greater than 0.1 times C7 in such a case I go to format and I click on red and I give OK. Obviously, it is not greater than 23, so this won't shade. But I'll go again to Format Painter and drag this formula to the other cells. And as you see in these two cases, 65 is definitely greater than 0.1 into 600, which is 60. 74 is greater than 0.1 into 700, which is 70. So in these two cases, it gets shaded by red. Okay. Another simple use case of conditional formatting. Third question: aggregation. So you have some channel data, Facebook, Google, Instagram, then country and then month. Then you have the cost and the revenue. And they want us to find the total cost for India, but only for Facebook. So we see Facebook India, there's one cost here, 190. Then again, Facebook India for another month, it's 460. That's it, remaining or in England, right? So we want to give a condition. What formula can we use? We can use some if. Uh, some ifs, right? Multiple conditions. I'll say sum ifs and I want to uh, you know sum the cost column so I'll select this full range okay and then what is criteria range 1 so criteria range 1 is basically the channel so let me select that um, up to YouTube okay and what is the criteria let's go up and check so it has to be Facebook so I'll give it capital Facebook like this and then criteria 2 is column B, right? So B7 to B22. And this has to be India. Okay. And what do we get? I get 650, right? Cost is 190 for Facebook India. And then again here it's 460. Together we get 650. So I put Facebook and India. But remember you can also do a data validation and get the values into another cell that's another way but here i'm just simply calculating basic idea is if you know to use some ifs or not okay but remember this formula i have created is not dynamic if you want to make it dynamic you need to use data validation which i have covered in other videos but it's not important for this video okay then fourth question pretty interesting again so write a formula to find percentage change in sales for country from 2020 to 2021 so for Australia, for example, 2020 sales was 350, then 2021 was 420. So that's like, what, 20% increase in sales, right? From 350 to 420. That's an increase of 70, but as a percentage, it's 20%. We want to show this. How do we do that? So first of all, for that, you know, for each value, we need to find the previous value. But before that, let me go and sort this column by country. 
okay let's click on sort and now we have australia back to back england back to back and so on right this is the first step now here first i go and try to find the previous value right for that you can say offset uh, select this cell and then you want to go one row up so you can say minus one the column is the same and then leave the other two blank should not be a problem okay i'm getting some okay it's in percentage let me drag this down and i'll make it numbers yes okay and i'll remove the decimals okay so we're getting the previous value but remember for England, for example, for 2020, we are getting 420, which is actually the value of Australia. We don't need that. So we want the previous value only when the previous row is the same country. How do we do that? So for that, I can say if, for example, this cell A7 is equal to the previous cell A6, then do the formula. Otherwise, leave it blank. Okay. So if the previous cell and this cell are the same, then you know if it's the same country then do the calculation otherwise leave it blank now we get it right for australia previous value is 350 we got it here for england previous value is 200 we got it here for india previous value is 300 we got it here for sri lanka previous value is 250 we got it here okay so we found the previous value now to do percentage change it's pretty simple so you will just go here and say um, you can do c7 minus this right as step one and then you divide this whole thing by you know the previous value which is this so i select this formula and i say divide by this okay and i'm getting zero but it's basically will be percentage when i drag down we still have value error so what i can do for this value error i can do a you know if error outside and then you know wherever there's a value error i just leave it blank like this okay now i can again drag the formula and all these are in numbers if i convert to percentage you see the values now okay so for example australia has shown a 20 percent jump england from 200 to 190 that's a 5 percent drop india from 300 to 270 which is a 10 percent drop sri lanka from 250 to 275 has got a 10 percent increase okay so this is how you will use offset and if plus if error to find percentage change okay very good question then a simple final question again to optimize profits write a formula to identify the number of items needed to be sold to have a profit of 1300 so here we have the price of the item and then the number of items sold okay and fixed cost for producing each item is 100 variable cost is basically 10 into b8 b8 is the number of items okay so each item to produce has a variable cost of 10 you multiply it by the number of items to get total variable cost and what is profit profit is nothing but total money you make which is price into items right 45 into 32 minus the fixed cost minus the variable cost so the formula all is set up now what should be the number of items to get a profit of 1300 this is the question for this we can use this functionality called as goal seek okay you can go to data, go to what if analysis, click on goal seek. I want to set the cell, which one? I want to set the cell profit, right? To a value of 1300. That's what we want to find. By changing which cell? By changing the number of items sold, which is B8, okay? Give an okay, it will auto calculate, okay? And it shows you when you sell 40 items. I didn't do anything. It says when you sell 40 items, then you can actually make a profit of 1300. This is a great way to, you know, run like some kind of scenarios and see you know what number of items you need to sell to actually achieve a certain profit okay another pretty interesting question again uh, you need to know goal seek to calculate this otherwise you'll have to do trial and error which makes no sense right go through the questions again try to solve them i hope you cracked at least four on five stay tuned for more such interesting videos till then take care i hope you enjoyed the video bye